Hey everyone. So a while back, I had this video here on how to integrate Azure Databricks with GitHub here. And now this is actually deprecated. So there's a better way to do that. And to do that is now a new way that they have called repos. So I'm in Databricks here. And on the left-hand side, you have this item here called repos. And you can add a repo. And this is going to be much easier than the previous way as well. So I add a repo. And I can put in a Git repository name here. And actually, let's go to GitHub. Let's see. And I have Azure Databricks samples. We'll use this one. All right. So we need the Git URL here. It's not the URL in GitHub. It's actually uh, this actual Git URL. So it ends in .git. And we will put that in. It auto selects GitHub. But you can see it does a lot of other providers as well, especially compared to the previous version. And automatically we got the repository name and we have a Git credential. I don't have one saved here. Uh, you can either do one here or you can go up to the right-hand side and go to your user settings. So I go ahead and create one, GitHub here, username in here, and we need to do a token, which I'll do here as well. So I go down to settings and all the way down here, developer settings, personal access tokens, We'll do the classic tokens here, and we'll generate a new token. We need to authenticate, right? So what the take token is for, it is for, let's just say Databricks, set expiration, and all you need is the repo scopes selected here, generate the token, and then we'll copy it here and put it in there, and click save, and there we go. We have that get credential saved, and we'll create a repo. There you go. So it came up here and it automatically has the main uh, master branch here. All right. So now in here, I can create a notebook and folders or different files. I'll create a notebook here and I'll just do a print message. So how do I get this notebook, which let me rename it just so we know test notebook. So we know that it is actually in there. All right. So here's that test notebook here. And right now it's pointing to our master branch, but we could create a new branch based on master. I will say test. All right, so we're in the branch test, and we can go here back to GitHub. We have two branches, and there's that test branch. And we can commit this. So we we'll added test notebook. We can commit and push. There we go. Create a new pull request, and we can see here there's our notebook there that we just added. All right, so that's how you can manage that within the UI, and you'll be mostly checking in items to the branches with the UI, but you can manage the repos through the Databricks CLI. And that'll be Databricks repos, and we'll look at the help here. We can do the regular CRUD operations on the repos here, create, read, update, and delete, but you can list them out as well. So let's actually just go back and delete this this repo. Move that to the trash. No more repos. And I'm gonna delete this branch as well that we created there. All right. So let's copy link. All right. So we did all that just to create a new repo. And we're gonna add the URL to our Git item there. There you go. So I created that. And if we go back to the UI here. So I got added once again. And we can list out all the repos. So just that one repo there. And then we can also get a specific one based on the ID. So do that, we do repo ID. And we'll do this here. Yep, so we got that one. And we can update the repo basically to check out a specific branch. So repo ID. And actually, let me create that branch again. So I do need that here, all right? Branch test. So now we're on the test branch here as before we were on the default master. And we can always delete the repo, the repo ID, and we're good. And if we go back here, once again, it's now gone. So that's a much better way to use GitHub repositories within your Azure Databricks instance there. 
Uh, yeah, definitely much better than it used to be, much more intuitive. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.